Hey guys and welcome to beautiful Belgium. In today's episode we are actually in Ostend which is the coastal town here in Belgium. We have a beautiful beach here in Belgium. We have a beautiful port too and here we are in Ostend. Behind me we actually have the Ostend station which is probably the most practical way to go to this area of Belgium and it is with the train. You can also go with the car but Belgium is such a central area, the public transportation is really good and the trains are really good so I decided to come with a train and since today we have a very sunny day in Belgium I thought that this would be the perfect place to go and visit so without any further ado let's explore! Ostend is visited by many day trippers heading to the beaches, especially during July and August. Located about 35 kilometers from the Dutch border and 30 kilometers away from the French border, the most practical way to go to Ostend is by train which stops at the Ostend railway station, which was opened in 1838 during the region of Leopold I of Belgium on the former Belgian railway line 62 to Torhout. The station is designed to connect trains and ferries and is built with Scottish granite, bluestone from Swine and limestone from Uville. Ostend being a beach area, well it's without too much of a surprise that there are quite a lot of water areas. Like right here we have a sort of little docking port where people can park their boats and it is really cool to see this because well you wouldn't think of Belgium as a place that has a lot of water but it does and you can also tell that there's quite a lot more money right here in this region because people own boats they go fishing they go sailing and also another thing that's kind of cool that it makes this place very European is the fact that there are so many so many bikes that are really parked everywhere on the sides of the streets so you can tell that this city is not um, car oriented people do take their bike people take public transportation they also walk but it is really beautiful and since this is a beautiful and sunny day well I guess I'm really lucky to be here on this day. Ostend being a coastal city has many boat harbors. The first one that visitors are greeted to exiting the Ostend railway station is the Royal Yacht Club Ostend Marina which is a medium-sized harbor with many boats docked there that can easily get access to the North Sea via lock which is a device used for raising and lowering boats, ships and other watercrafts between stretches of water of different levels on river and canal waterways. As part of the city of Ostend there is also the port of Ostend which was founded in 1584 when the sand dunes were pushed back to create the beginnings of the modern basin. Thanks to the port the city of Ostend was transformed from a sleepy fishing village into a fortified moated and important Flemish port. After the port of Bruges Zeebrugge it is the largest coastal port in Belgium. One thing to take note of when you are in Ostend is the fact that well yes we are next to the sea so they have really good seafood and you could go to a regular restaurant and they do offer a lot of really good stuff there but they also have a bunch of stands that offer really fresh fish and they offer them in little little plates that you can have while you're walking and it's really good and it's delicious and here in Belgium we also have a specialty dish is called moule frite which is mussels with fries and you may think well I've already had mussels but no 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 if you come to Belgium you're gonna have the real mussels and the fries are sumptuous too so do yourself a favor when you're here in Ostend go get some seafood. The amount of seafood stands that are on the side of the coast is phenomenal. All of them offer different varieties of fresh fish and for extremely affordable prices ranging from $5 to $10 and up. But if you're looking to simply have a small meal, $5 of fish will be plenty to satisfy one's appetite. And if you aren't in the mood for street food, there are a ton of restaurants and cafes that also offer seafood. Obviously because they are restaurants, the prices will be higher but compared to how expensive seafood can be in non-coastal restaurants, everything is affordable. Belgium is known for fishing and seafood and is a must for all fish eaters. And yes, I did say that the seafood is really good and I couldn't help myself but to get some seafood it's really really delicious. It's served cold but it, they do boil it beforehand so it's not raw meat and uh, yeah I'm gonna enjoy it so much. Like many other places in Europe, well Ostend does have a grand place, a central place where a lot of people can gather but unlike the older looking versions in Bruges or in Brussels with a lot of older buildings, the central place in Ostend is much more modern and it's kind of adjacent 
too uh, very commercial street with a lot of stores so yes it is much more modern looking it's still worth coming here but don't expect to have the same historical feeling that you would have in other cities and, but it is still worth seeing and if you do get bored of the street well you can always go back to the sea because well we are in Ostend and it is a seaside area. Austin certainly has a central area where people can gather for lunch, dinner, or just simply have a drink. As most other places in Europe, the central area is adjacent to many stores. It's nothing super fancy, but you can shop to your heart's content here. On Kapellestraat, there are all the important large chain stores, and on Adolf Berlstadt, there are all the designer clothing, shoes, and accessory stores. Food in that area can range from a pizza to charming old-style Flemish Pannenkuchenhuis, which translates to Pancake House in English. There are also a number of chocolatier and Dutch-style snoepje sweet stores. Most street corners are either a coffee shop or a bar. Here at the coast we have a neighborhood that is called Little Paris. And the reason that we call this place Little Paris is not that the whole neighborhood is French looking, but the fact that a lot of the architecture is reminiscent of what you would expect from older Paris. And especially the balconies have the style of Paris and it's just beautiful to see and as I did say it's not a whole neighborhood so it's intertwined with newer buildings and older buildings but when you're walking through this area do pay attention because those houses are really beautiful they're called Maison de Maître or Master Architect Houses and they just have a lot of sculptures in them and they're just beautiful and old looking and really worth just trying to keep an eye out for. Petit Paris or Little Paris is an important crossroad in the city of Ostend formed by the intersection of three axes. A lot of houses in Little Paris are in the Haussmann architecture style which refers to the quintessential Parisian style of the 19th century architecture that still defines Paris and whose enduring appeal has made Paris one of the most visited and well-loved cities in the world. Key elements that make houses in the French style of architecture are balanced, symmetrical proportions, brick exterior, steep roofs, tall second story windows, and porches with substantial balustrades. One thing about being in Europe is the fact that there is so much history pretty much everywhere. And right here where I'm standing, well, it's a bunch of archways and arcades that kind of launch the whole seaside. And it's really cool looking. But what's cool and historic about them is the fact that during the Second World War, the Germans had taken over this whole structure and they were using it for the military. And uh, yeah, this actually used to be a building that was owned by the royal family well it's more than a building it's pretty darn long but nowadays there's a bunch of hotels there's a couple cafes you're able to walk through it and as you can tell they are renovating it so it doesn't look as cool as it should be but there is a lot of charm to it and as i did say there's a lot of history too the royal galleries of ostend are a seaside neoclassical arcade on a dike on the beach of ostend they extend from the Royal Villa in the east to the Hypodrome Wellington horse racing track in the west. The galleries are over 380 meters long, with a large pavilion at each end. These galleries were constructed between 1902 and 1906 following the plans of architect Charles Giraud on the orders of King Leopold II of Belgium. They allowed the king and his guests to pass from the Royal Villa on the beach to the racetrack without being inconvenienced by rain or wind. The galleries contain a number of paired Tuscan order columns, with each pair sharing a bluestone pedestal and each column has a simple torus on its base. This place was listed as a protected monument on September 22, 1981. I wouldn't have said that Ostend was a beach area if there wasn't an actual beach and Ostend beach is really really gorgeous. It's a super wide beach and you get to see a really quiet sea. It's not the kind of sea that you would surf in but it is beautiful and obviously today it's a very beautiful day but Belgium is a place that does have quite a lot of rain so this is kind of exceptional and when there is a lot of sun like today well there's going to be a lot of people coming here at the beach but usually most of the year when it is raining it's very empty very quiet and still very pleasant it just has a very different vibe than what I would expect from a beach in Los Angeles this is more what I'm used to but still when you come right here on a day like this be it beautiful weather ugly weather, it's still such a wonderful and esoteric experience. Ostend Beach lies in the central part of the stark 19th century city center. This area is known for its densely packed apartment buildings overlooking the North Sea. Many of these buildings along the coastline have condos and apartments that are either rented out to tourists or overnight visitors. The Kleine Strand and Het Grote Strand are the main beaches along the coast. 
definitely the one that most Belgians prefer to go to is Het Grote Strand, which is really large and has sand as far as the eye can see. The Belgian seaside definitely has its own charm, but it's also not the kind of beach where you would do any kind of surfing because there simply aren't any waves here. So when you come here, you just have to get ready to sunbathe on the beach, maybe take a little bit of a swim in the water. Obviously there's some boats that are sailing and there might be the exceptional person that might be paddle boarding but you're not going to see any surfers here so if you want to go surf you better go to hawaii or to california or maybe to other places in europe that have much better waves a very popular thing to do at the belgian coast is to rent out a quistax which is a tandem bicycle these can be rented on the belgian coast or in other holiday resorts and our bicycles comprised of more than two wheels with the possibility of seating four to six people at the same time Quistex are authorized on the dike but prohibited on actual roads where cars are driving. Even though it may seem a little silly to do, they're actually a lot of fun and can make going from one side of the boardwalk to the other a breeze. One thing that is very typical right here at the Belgian seacoast is the fact that they have a ton of little small houses that are lunging the actual sand right in front of the sea and those houses are not really houses they're storage places where people put their stuff in and some of them are rented out for the day or for the week or for the month and other ones are owned by people but it is really practical to have because they're able to store their things but at the same time a lot of people also hang out in front of these little houses and i find that so typical of belgium it has such a good charm to it i think it's beautiful Osten Beach truly is a very spectacular place here in Belgium. It has very wide beaches. And there's just so much history in this city. And I'm so glad to have seen it because it's so different than what I'm used to seeing in America. But with that being said, I think that this is probably the perfect place to end this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming on this visit of Ostend. And if you did enjoy it, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment too. Let me know what you thought about Ostend. Let me know if there's maybe other places in this region or other regions of Belgium that you'd like me to go visit. Maybe I can make that happen. With that being said, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.